Hey guys. <clears throat> We're going to see who this person is that is obsessed with you guys. No, I'm just kidding. The person that's in your energy. Let's see who they are and what it is that they want with you guys on a serious tip. Okay. So if you guys are interested in a personal, please check out the website at pinkarianjim.com. And um, just select which reading you want. We'll go from there. Who is this person that is in Cancer's energy? Who is this person? Scorpio, possibly. Somebody that thinks about you guys a lot. Um, they think about the good and the bad times, actually. But I feel like this person's having a hard time moving on. Um, just, just thinking about all the good times that you've shared, how relatable you guys are, just, just having a hard time getting you out of their head, out of their emotions, even when they try to move on, it's like they're, be, they're being brought back by memories of you. This person may be daydreaming about you, even when they're at work, like having a hard time concentrating on other things is what I'm feeling here, okay? daydreaming while they're at work having a hard time concentrating okay uh, this person is single Virgo energy I feel like they're not happy being single though I feel like this person is definitely wanting to reunite get back together with you guys here reconcile okay <clears throat> thinking about um, just think about everything that happened between the two of you. Cards are turning over here. A lot of cards there, but I see the two of pentacles primarily there. And that is um, just feeling like all the balls are up in the air. There's not really um, a, a stable ground that they're standing on. Uh, going back and forth, being wishy-washy. They're having a very hard time like getting themselves together. They're trying to though. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Again, they go back and forth thinking about you guys. But they not only think about the good times, they also think about the bad times too. They get lost in the bad times. Thinking about how hurt they are, everything that happened between the two of you. But then they cannot escape like the very good things also that went on between the two of you the times that you guys spent together the vacations that you guys went on the the basketball games that you guys went to i mean just whatever it is that they can like associate with you they are stuck i feel this very eight of swords energy gemini energy um with this person they're stuck Callie, get out of here. Go. <clears throat> and then we have the full of their Aries energy. They want to start over. They really want to let bygones be bygones, but they're having a hard time um, getting over things. They're holding on to things so very tightly. Um, having a hard time moving past the issues they also feel very foolish in this situation they feel taken advantage of this person very childlike um maybe very immature as well having regrets Having regrets, feeling very hurt. Um, this person may have tried to get back with you. You guys declined. So they feel foolish about that because they feel like you were the one that betrayed them. They feel rejected. They almost feel forced to like start over. Like they have no choice. You know, they can want what they want, but like you guys have left them no choice but to start over. They get lost in their feelings um, and think that 
you know, maybe they should have never been with you to begin with, which is kind of harsh. I'm getting that this person throws their own pity party. They throw their own pity party. Strong Scorpio energy for some of you. Then we have Temperance here. Which is Sagittarius energy. This person really wants to get back together with you. Um, but it's like their head and their heart is like battling here. Instead of allowing them to work together to make the you know rightful and just decisions, as far as the heart is concerned, um, this person's really battling their head and their heart. They're not at peace whatsoever. They would really like to reunite, um, but I, I feel like the rejection at some point is really messing with them. Then we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah. I feel like this person, um, they feel very hurt because they've allowed you to come in and out of their lives is what they feel. And it's almost like them feeling like they should have known better. They should have stopped it before. But yet still, I see them still wanting to be in your life. This feeling of, of feeling like foolish, foolish and, and oh my gosh, I'm so stupid because I did this. I looked over this. I allowed them to do this. And this is this person. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Scorpio, um, strong here. Hmm. A six of swords. They feel forced to move on. They feel like, you know what, no more. This person's moving on, trying to move on, but they don't really want to. They feel like they have no other choice at this point to move on, but to move on. I don't really feel like this person... Um, is with anybody because here we see this nine of pentacles I see the fool like wanting to step out on faith wanting to do something new um, do something different that they've never done but I still see them wanting to like engage with you guys talk things out I feel like if you, if you gave them like a little hint of anything that um that you were willing to try this or wanted to be with them, I think they would definitely go for it, for it. But I think that this person would try to make you work for it. They would play hard to get, is what I'm getting here. Aquarius energy. What does this person really want with Cancer? What do they really want with Cancer? The Magician. They want to make it work. They want to make it work. Hmm. Virgo, Gemini energy again there. They want to work things out with you. They want to they want to really know how you feel. They want you to reveal something to them. I see this person wanting to be wowed. They want you to open up. They want you to be honest. They want you to tell they want you to tell them um admit to some things. If they feel like you guys betrayed them, you you slept with someone else, you stepped out on them, you were talking to someone else on the phone, they want you to admit to your wrongdoings. They really want you to like be transparent with them. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles there. They're still waiting on you. You're still waiting to have a conversation. This person, they want to move on, but they're being held back. They're stuck. This person's stuck. Taurus energy here. Taurus, Libra, Aries. With this Empress energy. They've been working on themselves. I definitely feel like they're single. This might be a single mother or a single father. Um, but I feel like this person is um they're stuck between feeling sorry for themselves 
um, reminiscing about you, the good times, and also thinking about, you know, in this situation where they feel like, whoa, it's me. Like, I'm always getting stepped on. Um, just throwing a whole pity party for themselves here, okay? So that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.